Hi everyone, my name is Ace Sets High, and today we are back doing good old fashioned death battle 1v1. Who do we think would win? Barnaby or Fantokio? And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting off first with Fantokio. Fantokio is a magical living puppet that his army apparently includes like a million mops and a shark, and then he can also control like giant stone fists and then he can shoot fireballs and fire rings at you which is all very cool oh oh well and good but i think one of his like biggest aspects like or his biggest advantages here is his passion this guy is so passionate about the theater that like literally mid-fight this guy changed the set like three separate times that's insane and I think if he could bring that passion to a fight, I think he might have a chance against our other contestant. Barnaby is a ghost owl. He's the ghost of an owl who apparently passed away from his own magical experiments. And I don't know if this is canon or whatever, but I think what happened is apparently one of those magical experiments or whatever made him go a bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Because this guy is absolutely bonkers. Absolutely wacko. Insane. Like, his brain is not there at all. And because of that, I think he's actually that bad of a guy. Because. Barnaby's advantages, though, right? Like, I'm not saying that Barnaby's going to be completely defensive. Barnaby has his advantages. He's a ghost owl that can apparently take on a bunch of different forms and sings about a million gruesome ways to die. And he has a knife and an acid water gun. And then he also has uh, some ghosts at his disposal, apparently. And I'm not sure if this is just, like, weird architecture in his house or if this is actually something that he's doing. Uh, but he might be able to physically change the setting of the mansion. Now then, like I said, I do not know if that's just some weird architecture that he's got going on in his uh, mansion where, like, if that's the case, he might want to, like talk to someone about that i'm not sure if having like exploding cupcakes is good <laughs> maybe it is i kind of want uh, cupcakes now anyways let's get to the fight who do i think would win in a fight between fantokyo and barnaby i think fantokyo will win now give me a chance to explain myself okay give me a chance just give me a chance so fantokyo is a magical puppet and i think that with his magical powers, and with the fact that his brain seems to be at least more intact than Barnaby's is, I think that Fantokyo would figure out a way using his magical powers and knowing that he's actually in a fight to actually find a way to either seal up Barnaby or like exercise better for Barnaby, I don't know, or just something. Just by using all of his magical powers that he has. Now, Barnaby, uh, like, on a base, is probably more powerful than Fantokyo. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But I just don't think Barnaby would know what's going on and wouldn't be able to, like, comprehend that he's actually in a fight. So, because of that, I think Fantokyo is going to win. And I want to know what you guys think. I, I, I do think that this is uh, this fight could go 50-50 or whatever. I do think it's actually like pretty close 50-50 as to uh, who would win in a fight. But um, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, either uh, agreeing with me that Fantokyo would win or uh, proving me wrong as to why Barnaby would win. Maybe you guys know more stuff than I don't. I'm fairly new to uh, the Billy Bust Up fandom. So maybe uh some people that have been around longer or have done some more research are able to uh find something that might change my mind but this is just one guy's humble opinion so <laughs> yeah anyways 
thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this fun little video that, <laughs> it, I don't know, it just seemed uh, funny to me. Uh, I've seen a lot of the uh, like memes where it's like uh, Barnaby uh, getting all the fan attention and not fan Tokyo, but I, I, I think fan Tokyo deserves some love, you know? So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.